Hi everyone, my name is Jason. This video is made for techynation.com. Today's video is how to make and how to use char cloth. What is char cloth? This is char cloth. Basically, it's cooked cotton. Um, it starts off the plain old white t-shirt, underwear, socks, anything that's cotton. This is 98% cotton. Uh, it works. <laughs> it works just fine. Why char cloth? Char cloth will take a spark very, very easily. So I could use a flint. This is actually a magnesium flint block. Just drop a couple of sparks onto this and it'll go, it'll be a red amber, it'll stay and it'll just slowly burn out. And then you have plenty of time to get a fire going very, very, very easily. So you start off with cut up t-shirt. I like to use white because then you know when it's ready because it'll be black. So I'm using two pieces here of white t-shirt. This will make quite a bit of char cloth. I'm just putting them on top of each other. Well, it's not really important. Got some aluminum foil. I made a couple of holes in it with a pencil because you want the you need air to be able to get out from when it's cooking, and I'm going to fold it over over my char cloth. So now I've got a little envelope made of aluminum foil with my t-shirt inside. I'm going to go barbecue it. So cloth, cotton, check. Aluminum foil, check. Girlfriend's not around to complain about the smell of uh, cotton cooking. <laughs> check. All right, so we're ready to go. I'm going to turn on the barbecue and take you out there. All right, so I'm ready to go. I got the barbecue just turned on. I have my little uh, aluminum foil envelope with the cut up t-shirt inside. I'm just going to drop it on the barbecue. I'm going to wait at least 10 minutes. I'm going to leave the camera on so you'll see it smoking. Uh, technically, once the smoke has gone down, it should be ready. You open it up, look at it. If it's black, it's ready. If it's not, just put it back in. So here we go. We've done that. So it's been exactly 10 minutes now. Still smoking. I'm going to wait just another minute or two and I'm going to look at it, see if it's black everywhere. If it's not, I'm going to put it back. If it's black, like 90% of the spots, I'm just going to cut out the white and keep the, the black now with char cloth. So two minutes. I'll be back. I'm going to check it out. Oh, yeah. Now this, all black, it's all ready. We got two sheets of good char cloth. Now it's time to show you how to use it. Turn off the barbecue. Wow, it's 
it's not really that hot. So, uh, two pieces. The white t-shirt is now completely, completely black. I think I did this set a lot better than my uh, test set that I did before. So at this point, you could cut it up into smaller pieces because you don't really need this much to start a fire. Go in a little strip. Get a little piece like this. Get a few little pieces like this. It's great to start a fire. Let's see. Alright, so I don't actually have any reason to make a fire, so I'm just going to do it in the back of uh, my apartment. I have the char cloth. My goal now is to get this paper, it's just the paper bag paper on fire. Uh, once you get this on fire, then it's easy to have, uh, easy to have twigs and the rest uh, to start a fire. My magnesium block, I'm not going to use any of the magnesium, just the flint though. And a knife. So, I'm going to put a piece of char cloth top of the paper, and I'm going to spark it. Oh, that did it. So we got one little piece here. Camera's not going to see it. Got a piece burning red. I'm just going to move my paper. Get a bit of, I'm going to hold it right on top. And blow on it. Is that so that's all there is to it please visit techynation.com for more information and if you have any questions or comments thank you